Hey guys, thanks for tuning in for another Top Dog Tips review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Pet Gear Freestanding Foldable Pet Stairs. Now these are large stairs. They're meant for very large dogs. They can actually hold pets uh, weighing up to 350 pounds. So um, they're good for virtually every dog. If you have a dog that weighs more than 350 pounds, I would love to see him. Please share pictures on our Facebook page. I'm going to take you outside to show you these. You can use them in your home but soon you're going to see that they're really made for getting dogs up and down um, into vehicles. They're not really very um, in-home friendly. As the name suggests, the Pet Gear foldable freestanding pet stairs. Um, they are foldable, so there's these little black latches. See, he wants to see what I'm up to. Go on, Sades that keep it all together so you can carry it all as one unit um, and then it does fold out and I just wanted to show you up close when you fold these out this is the little bottom step um, each one each of the stairs has these little things you're gonna notice in my video review that are pushing these and that locks them in when you're ready to take the stairs down no When you're ready to take the stairs down, you just lift up on that little piece and slide it back up um, and to push it down, whoops. When you're ready to fold it back up, you just lift this piece up and it will move for you. And then when you want to lock it back into place, you just push it till it clicks. This is our 2006 Ford Escape. Um, and I'm just going to show you First, how easy it is to put these up. Remember, I, I just put up that first stair um, just to show you up close. And remember, Sadie, come on, come this way. Remember these little things, all of them lock. So you'll hear it click when it's in place. I just like to do a quick double check and make sure that all of them are locked in place. Um, and again, these are freestanding, so um, these hold themselves. They don't wiggle all around. They are freestanding. They also hold up to 350 pounds, so you can tell I can sit on these. No problem. It's not a big deal um, at all. These are for even the biggest breeds. Um, there are removable carpet treads on these. This is quite similar to other pet gear steps. A lot of them do that. Uh, they Velcro down. This tread is there. Sorry, Sadie wants her ball or she's going to be a pet. Um, so the removable carpet treads are there and those are also uh, machine washable. So you can pull these off if they get too dirty. These ones, as I mentioned, they're not the best for in home. Um, they're very big, so they're not going to be the best to have like in your living room, of course, but uh, they work really, really well if you have a, um, you know, a platform outside, a vehicle, something like that for your dog to do into. These ones work really, really well for that. Of course, you could use them in your home. They're extremely sturdy and durable. Um, they just take up a really a lot of room. The dimensions of these are 60 inches uh, long by 23 inches high and 19 inches wide. So it's going to take up a lot of space in your home if you do decide to do that. The steer dimensions themselves are 28 inches long by 19 inches wide. Um, there's a tiny small little lip here. It's just enough that maybe your dog's paw could feel that he's getting close to the edge. I would prefer um, something, you know, that's like an inch or so too tall um, just to prevent your dog from stepping over the side, especially if you have a large breed with mobility issues. That's something I always worry about. So um, that would be something, a, a nice little addition to see. There are rubberized grips on the bottom here. Now this is a, it's a beautiful February day here in Maine where I live. So uh, it's all ice under here right now, but there are rubberized grips. Um, so if you're using these in your home or typically on like a garage floor or the regular dirt, um, you know, it wouldn't be too bad slippery wise. Keep in mind that we are on ice, but um, you know, they are pretty stationary when I climb on them, it's just if you pushed it side to side, you know, they can, there's a little resistance, but the ice is keeping them pretty slippery. Um, 
So anyway, the dimensions when they're folded are 30 inches by nine inches by eight and a half. So they do fold up flat. Um, like I showed you, it's really easy to fold them up. You're just gonna pull those little tabs like I showed you to pop all of those, um, the braces where you lock them, that kind of unlocks all those. And then you can just fold them in. The weight of the stairs, let me just double check. Um, is 27 and a half pounds when they're folded. So, you know, they're not light by any means, but they're not outrageously heavy either. So uh, that's something to keep in mind if you think that you're gonna wanna be traveling with these a lot. Um, and then you just hook those little hooks that I showed you when I was showing you the up close video. Um, so if you think you're gonna be traveling a lot with them, you know, they are quite heavy, but 27 and a half pounds, you can carry them in and out of the garage, no problem, it's not a big deal. Um, they are quite expensive, $153.99 on Amazon right now. Um, so I know that's not in everybody's budget, but if you have a dog with mobility issues, especially a senior dog, if you have a dog that's recovering from an injury, um, you know, and you travel a lot, these are something that could be a great investment that could really help your dog. Um, you know, Sadie uses them. She prefers these over a ramp. I think the stairs versus the ramp is just easier for her. Some dogs can't use stairs anymore because of mobility issues. So, you know, the ramp would be a better option. But uh, if your dog can still use stairs and he's a little timid of a ramp, something like this might be a good thing to think about. If you guys have any questions about the pet gear, freestanding foldable pet stairs, uh, feel free to email me, samantha at topdogtips.com. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review and I will see you back with another one very soon. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. We really appreciate you guys tuning in whenever we post a new video. Of course, you can check us out on our website, topdogtips.com. So be sure to bookmark that and check back often because we are always publishing new reviews, um, product information, top 10 lists, information about dog care, grooming, training, um, all aspects of dog care health, and uh, we share some vet tips on there, all kinds of great stuff. So if you're a dog owner, dog lover, that's the site for you. You. Also, be sure to find us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest as well. So um, make sure to follow us and then you'll stay up to date with everything that's going on on our website and on our social media. You'll see all the newest videos whenever they're posted. And of course, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. All you have to do is go to YouTube, search for Top Dog Tips. We're right there. Subscribe and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. So be sure to do that. Thanks again for watching watching guys and I'll see you back soon with another great Top Dog Tips video.